So I've been using the Galaxy S24 Ultra non-stop exclusively for about three weeks now. And well, I would like to say the same thing I said last year, which is rest in peace to the competition because this is already an early contender for the phone of the year. With that being said, it is not perfect. There's been some controversies to address, some more hidden upgrades that Samsung didn't talk about, and some annoying things that need to be fixed ASAP with a software update. And just wanna quickly mention, I I also found the most useless camera for me on the S24 Ultra, which I haven't really been using that much. We'll talk about it later in that video. So Galaxy S24 Ultra, what do I love the most about this phone after three weeks of usage? It's not the display, it's not the design or the camera or all these other things. The single biggest thing for which I'm very thankful to Samsung and Qualcomm is actually the battery life. Now that it's learning my usage pattern, it is even better than before. A true daily performer indeed, doesn't matter how hard my usage is, it's there to last me throughout the day. It's crazy that this is something that I couldn't say about Samsung flagship phones for quite some time from Galaxy S10 all the way to the S22 Ultra, but ever since with the S23 Ultra and especially with the S24 Ultra this year, Samsung has stepped up the battery game to an entirely new level. Now where I think Samsung should have improved this year is with fast charging. It is faster than my Pixel and the iPhone. Thanks. To to the 45 watt charging level, but I wish Samsung went out of their comfort zone. Like they should have adopted 65 watt or 80 watt like we have on the OnePlus 12. That phone not only delivers similar battery performance to the S24 Ultra, but also charges in just 30 minutes. That is absolutely mind blowing. I wish we had something like that on this phone. Now, speaking of battery and charging, whether you use iPhone or Samsung, I think we can all use Charge. Charge has made the world best power bank that I've personally used known as Shargeek 170. They've also made the world's first magnetic power bank with active cooling also known as Ice Mag. And finally Flow Mini which is the cutest smallest battery bank for your device. I was at their CES booth and everyone was checking out these amazing products. If you're looking at probably the best power bank on the planet that is Shargeek 170. It has 170 watt of output to effortlessly charge multiple devices like laptops, phones, all at the same time. It's got a unique transparent design, it's airline ready, and it's water resistant. Then comes Ice Mag, an absolute treat for gamers. This magnetic power bank has a full spectrum dynamic RGB along with a 10,000 mAh battery to wirelessly charge your gaming session for a full day. And finally, my new favorite, the cutest Flow Mini is here. This is easily the most pocket-friendly secondary battery for your phone. Best of all, Charge is currently offering a massive 38% discount for Valentine's Day on their products. So click the link in the description and don't miss out on this opportunity. Alrighty, now you guys already know how much I love this boxy Galaxy S24 Ultra design. I just love this. It might not be as comfortable as those rounded sides with the other phones, but this is how I imagine an Ultra phone should be from Samsung especially. It's truly Samsung's best flagship design that combines the elegance of both S and the Note series. I've been using this phone without a case completely naked and it's been in and out of my pockets, sometimes with keys and I don't think I even have a single scratch on this phone which is pretty good. However, I still recommend you guys to put a case on this phone just to be on the safe side as it's a $1300 device. And by the way, you can still actually save up to $800 on your Galaxy S24 Ultra purchase. Links are mentioned in the description. You're welcome. Now when it comes to the display, in my three weeks of usage, I can definitely say for me the flat screen was the way to go. I love the uniform bezels and the fact that there's pretty much no accidental touches like I had with the curved display of the S23 Ultra. Now when you're looking at this display, it is amazing, beautiful, like you don't see any problem, but there is actually a problem with the screen. The Galaxy S24 Ultra's display comes with two modes, vivid and natural. And currently, the vivid mode is broken because it doesn't do anything compared to the natural mode. I can definitely confirm this on my S24 Ultra that the vivid mode doesn't make the colors more saturated as it should. Some people said that this is because of the new display coating for the anti-reflection. I personally don't think that's the case and Samsung also confirmed that they'll fix this in the next software update so I don't really think that it's a big issue at all. 
Now I did notice that the S24 Ultra's fingerprint scanner is actually faster than the fingerprint scanner on the S23 Ultra. And turns out Samsung indeed used a newer version of the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which is indeed a little bit faster and improved. Funny how they actually didn't talk about this at all at the unpacked event. Alright now moving towards the performance I would say it has been top notch, no complaints, no heating issues, nothing. But there is a desperate need for a camera update. In low light Galaxy S24 Ultra has has a noticeable lag when switching from 3x to 5x. You don't see this lag in bright scenarios so it only comes in low light situation where the camera is doing a lot more processing so there's a bit of a delay which I really hope Samsung should fix in their upcoming software update. Also the YouTube app has glitched on me a couple of times this need to be updated as well. Other than that the performance has been amazing and if you're someone who cares about the numbers this phone is scoring perhaps one of the highest Geekbench 5 scores for the 8 Gen 3 very very close to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now moving on to the camera it's time to reveal my hot take. Ever since I've started using the camera on the S24 Ultra I've been exclusively utilizing the 5x lens pretty much all the time for my zoom shots. It takes stunning photos, detail is great with natural bokeh and more accurate edge detection compared to the 3x portraits and very high quality 4k 60fps video performance in good lighting to the point where I genuinely do not use the 3x lens at all. I'm not saying that the 3x lens is useless but the fact that the 5x lens is so much better with amazing natural bokeh along with the most accurate depth data it makes me think that Samsung should have gone with a 5x and 10x lens instead of a 5x and 3x combo. I kind of understand now why Apple made the smart choice to only use 5x lens on the iPhone. So in my opinion 5x along with a 10x periscope lens lens would have been the way to go and that way we would have gotten a proper periscope zoom upgrade over the S23 Ultra instead of the soft oil paintings you get beyond the 30x zoom level. Still I would say 5x lens is a lot more usable and it does a pretty good job at 10x level just going beyond that affects the quality so in an ideal situation I would have loved a 5x and 10x combo. Now as for the main camera performance there's really nothing to complain. I think Samsung will improve the HDR performance even more but but like I said, overall, I don't have any complaints. Posting your photos or videos looks great on social media apps when they are shot with the main camera. Just make sure you have the high quality upload option enabled on your phone. Now, Expert Raw produces really sharp raw photos to play with with lots of detail. I've been playing with the 24 maybe still default image mode and as shown before, it does add that quality compared to the 12 megapixel mode, which is why I wish Samsung to implement this mode to the actual main main camera app in the future, I think that's gonna be a really really good move. Considering Galaxy S24 Ultra gets 7 years of OS updates, there is so much potential in this phone waiting to be unlocked in the future. Now last but not the least, what about them Galaxy AI features? I've actually really enjoyed some of these features which are changing the way I do certain things. The biggest one is the ability to change your writing style on the go when writing emails or just simple messages. Since English is not my main language this feature definitely helps me out a ton when it comes to those professional conversations. I've also been enjoying the Samsung Notes app which automatically corrects my scripts. I've also been generating cool wallpapers with the help of AI. I think it's one of the best AI features on this phone which will get even better as we get more software updates. Apart from these AI features I have yet to utilize those translation features in real life. Since I'm traveling to Europe very soon I'm definitely going to be utilizing these features there. If you're someone who's already living in a country where you don't speak the native language, the translation features are definitely going to be a big help. With that being said, just because of Galaxy AI, I don't think this phone is worth buying because you're going to get those Galaxy AI features on older Samsung phones like the S23 series as well as the 4, 5 and the Flip 5. So all in all, I think it's rest in peace to the competition once again because Samsung has achieved its peak form design, great battery life, smooth performance, except those wonky camera mode switching which I'm sure Samsung can fix and improve with the software update but apart from that no major complaints camera is very very capable I think this is definitely a contender for phone of the year still for anyone who's using the S23 Ultra I don't think it's worth upgrading if you want a real proper upgrade it's probably worth waiting for the S25 Ultra 
or perhaps for Fold 6, which is about to have the biggest folding smartphone design that Samsung has ever done. So I really wouldn't recommend coming from the S23 Ultra unless you want to take advantage of the exclusive Samsung offers mentioned in the description. But if anyone is using the S22 Ultra, Galaxy S24 Ultra offers a lot. And for me personally, battery life alone will be worth upgrading to this phone from that model. So yeah, Galaxy S24 Ultra is on track to become the phone of the year. I really hope they make this phone even more awesome with future software updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the awesome products from Charge. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.